Hey everyone. So unlike almost all the other YouTubers on the planet, I do not have a uh, an M4 Mac Mini to show you. So sorry about that. They do seem nice though. I thought I'd discuss a couple of things I've seen recently in uh, various disciplines here. One was South Africa uh, has reviewed their national health research guidelines to allow, apparently, heritable human genome editing, which is a big sort of like, uh, I don't want to say taboo, but a big concern ethically for a lot of countries. I think 70 countries currently do not allow this. Heritable human genome editing is where you would edit the genome using CRISPR or whatever, but it then becomes heritable from the person. So if you do it on a baby, the baby grows up, has a kid, or you know, uh, produces a kid, that child would inherit some of those traits. So it's kind of changing humanity. It's not just a one person with like, you're not affecting one person with gene therapy, you're actually changing the person. China did this in November 2018, um, where they had uh, Chinese scientists created the world's first gene-edited babies using CRISPR. And I think they subsequently uh, did it. They did it on twin girls first, and then I think they subsequently did another another child later. We haven't heard too much about those, but South Africa apparently for some reason is dipping its toe in that particular murky water. So there's that. I I get real squidgy about stuff like that. It makes me makes me quite uncomfortable. It seems to me, and this is just some old guy, I don't know. It seems to me we don't know quite enough about how the body works, even though we know a lot. We don't know everything. We certainly don't know everything. And we probably don't know as much as we think we do because we keep getting these odd quirks will show up with treatments from one thing and, you know, it affects something else and that sort of stuff. I, I think we're getting a bit ahead of ourselves, but that's just me. Uh, talking about something else that's, you know, potentially helping people, which is the, you know, the, the goal for the gene therapy or, you know, editing uh, DNA. The walk-on suit F1 is a next-generation exoskeleton that can help walk itself and help paraplegics. So this is a kind of weird, this is like kind of an Iron Man looking kind of thing where the exoskeleton will actually waddle over to you and then you can kind of step in it. You can see the exoskeleton over here. Let's maximize this and play it. I'm going to scrub through this a little bit because it's kind of slow. We'll keep out the, the whirs and the clicks. But you can see it's kind of waddling over to him. You can then go around and like, you know, poke at it to show how stable it is. And he'll sort of get into position back here. And you can see the process of getting it. He gets his feet in the, the stirrups there, so to speak. And then the exoskeleton pulls itself down onto his legs. Sort of like Iron Man in the nano suit, you know, fitting itself to him. goes. Now that is pretty cool. Obviously clunky, first generation, all that kind of stuff, but my god, if I was paraplegic and you know younger, meaning they had time to perfect this technique, I'd be so excited.
That's awesome. Going to something completely different, how did AI predictors do in the 2024 presidential election here in the USA where uh, Donald Trump actually beat uh, Kamala Harris by a bit of a sweep, actually? Um, so Resonate, a leader in AI-powered predictive consumer and voter intelligence accurately predicted Trump's victory. Um, it didn't give it quite the the cons uh, the, um, the victory that they actually got. This is a slim electoral college lead and uh, key battleground states slightly flavor of Trump. So pretty accurate. I mean, it, it got the, the result correct. The, the nuances were a bit off. Most of the other ones, like ChatGPT and stuff, either gave some weird thing that neither Trump nor Harris would win. Huh? That's weird. Or a dark horse candidate would emerge victorious. <laughs> so just sort of AI nonsense. And some of the other ones wouldn't even tell you. Google's Gemini being Google, uh, refrained from making any predictions. Um, it seems to me that in most cases, uh, if you want to know or have a good sense of the outcome of something, go to the bookies. They seem to know more often than not. Uh, the polls have been pretty pretty majorly trashed this, this election season. I think almost all the polls were like way off. Um, if I recall correctly, I may be selective, maybe selective memory, but um, it seems like it didn't do good. Intel is not doing very well these days. There have been many issues. Uh, there are new Arrow Lake based core stuff, uh, core processor, the Ultra 9. 200S series has been painted as lackluster, especially with gaming performance. Intel says it'll get better. It'll be better. Um, and they've been not doing well as far as just the, the stock has tumbled. Um, they get taken off the, the Dow Jones or the NASDAQ, whatever, I think there's a NASDAQ they were on. They get taken off of that because their stock dropped below a certain value. But... In good news, after uh, laying off like 15,000 employees, they did resume free coffee and tea for its employees, the remaining employees. So, you know, that's good. <clears throat> yeah. Anyway, that's all I had. I just wanted to go over some quick things I thought were pretty interesting. And uh, we'll catch you next time, hopefully, with a... Uh, a more detailed look at something or other. I just, I didn't have the inspiration this week. I'm on call at work and I didn't have the time to do the research. So my apologies, but uh, hopefully next week we'll get better. Thanks again.